Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the lightweight division. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday now gets to explode here in the ring. Roberto Duran's making his way to the ring. And I know you're used to seeing many ring walks where guys are really jacked up. This isn't one of them. Vinny Paz is coming down to the ring now. And what a nice reception as he is completely focused in on his goal tonight. Introducing first, with a record of 103 victories, with 70 knockouts and 16 defeats, by way of Panama City, the hands of stone, Roberto Duran! His adversary, with a record of 50 victories and 30 knockouts, with 10 losses, coming out of Cranston. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Here we go. First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Good looking two punch combo by Roberto Duran. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Move in, move in. Two, three, bang, Two, three. Three. When we get matchups like this, guys that just won't quit, they'll be there every step of the way like Gaddy Ward. Sometimes there comes a point where one fighter thinks he's got himself an advantage. He's done something great. But then the other fighter doesn't go away. How does that play out in the minds of each fighter? Usually it doesn't affect the kind of guys you just mentioned, Gaddy and Ward. They're made how to cement these guys. They're already set in their ways. They know what they have to do. They're not going to get thrown off just because somebody's still there. Now he ties up there. Missed that uppercut. Both men digging in with uppercuts. They're on the inside. Come on. Right to the head with that right. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on, He's going to have a guy in front of him. Halfway through round number one. Keep your hands up. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Roberto Duran. Has is well off the mark that time. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, they can keep it. Roberto Duran's back by a left hand. Oh, Teddy, he is hurt, but he's trying to throw back. Yeah, and that's the worst thing in the world. I know it's his natural inclination to throw back, but that's the worst thing because now look at the punches he's throwing. He's going to leave himself wide open for something else. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Roberto Duran with a big right hand. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Vinny Paz. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Final 10 seconds of round number one. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid 
effort by Vinny Paz. Relax, relax. You're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. Duran's legs are just fine, thank you. That was the big question in the last round. He was damaged, but here a fresh start. You know, Joe, we talk about having a good chin all the time, being able to shake off a good blow, but this is part of having a good chin, being able to recover after being shaken out, after the round before. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Roberto Duran. Duran showcasing one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to set the tone, and that is the jab. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just, you know, snap your head back. It disrupts everything. You know, it just throws the other guy's rhythm off, and that's what he's doing a good job of. Not precise at all by Vinny Paz. You need to keep that head moving. Oh, that's good stuff. Fired right back with one of his own. Good work by Vinny Paz. <laughs> Roberto Duran so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. One, two by Roberto Duran. Scores up top with a left. Step to the side and then lands the counter. Yeah, disappear on him and then all of a sudden appear on him. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Vinny Paz. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. And now the right hand lands because of the work done by the jab. Has is hurt by a big shot. Big, big shot comes crashing home. He lands the hook, and now he lands on the ground. But is he back in the fight? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Ten seconds to go in this round. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. And we come to the end of round number two. Has his, well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. Duran's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say, Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No. He understands and his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that their opponent hasn't recovered. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. Duran's getting the job done with hooks on the inside here, Teddy. Well, right now, if I'm the opponent, you know what I do? I catch that hook on my glove, and bang, I shoot back a straight right hand. He got a lot into that uppercut. Nice work by Vinny Paz. Don't let him get to you. He takes a shot and then commits to giving him one right back.
And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. That right hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now. Vinny Paz is clearly affected by that. Solid. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. By way of knockout, your winner, the Handsome Stone, Roberto Jaren. Roberto Duran is able to come up with a Shocker here, out of nowhere, early on, a knockout victory. And does it with one shot. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of lightweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Roberto Duran's giving us one of those attitudes like, hey, it's just another day at the office. I know exactly what I'm about to do. Pernell Whitaker's voice is something that cannot be denied. This is a fighter that knows he's ready to do what is in front of him, and he has what it takes to accomplish the goal. In the middle corner, with a record of 103 victories, with 70 knockouts and 16 defeats, by way of Panama City, the hands of stone, Roberto Jaran! And his opponent across the ring, with a record of 40 wins, 17 knockouts, and 4 defeats, coming out of Norfolk, Pernell Sweet P. Whitaker! All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. moment and now they get it round one underway Teddy this has the feeling of a fight that very much looks like it'll be a chess match yeah this is a Bobby Fischer type fight no doubt about that it's a matter of who moves their pawn and each guy doing a real careful job and a thoughtful job before they touch those pieces Teddy, I'd like for you to lay the framework of what we're going to see strategically here because a counterpuncher against a fighter who likes to do his business on the inside. If you're the counterpuncher, what are some of the things you need to be aware of? Uh, the right question right there. If you're the counterpuncher, catch the guy before he gets all the way inside. Do your countering when there's room and the proper place to do it as he's coming in. 
and then once he gets in, tie him up. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Very accurate with the overhand right. Roberto Duran's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Whitaker's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Good block by Roberto Duran. Now he's sending more than one at him now. The combo to the head. Digs in with a good, solid uppercut after taking one. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Duran's proving to be elusive. Good, clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Roberto Duran. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch you is. You've got to protect yourself. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Well, you look at this. Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. And the round comes to an end. Roberto Duran's commitment to throwing punches in that last round really scored well for him. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Nice solid left hand scored by Pernell Whitaker. Super two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Get inside. Get inside. Roberto Duran scoring with that right hand to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Boy, sharp two punch. Wow! There he goes! He goes down from that head shot. One, two, three, four, five! Whitaker's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Halfway through round number two. Comes right back with a shot of his own. That was a miss by Roberto Duran. He's committed to the combination punching now. And it's working out well up top. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. How about that left hand? There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Roberto Duran's putting together punch stats tonight that fall right in line with what his strategy is. Outside fighter, throwing lots of jabs, landing lots of jabs. Well, what it is is the jab is the table setter, and the jab tonight has set up the table where he's been able to eat whatever he's wanted. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good 
Double jab by Roberto Duran. Come on. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. He's committed to that left hand and it's working out. Duran's corner beaming right now. That was the round they wanted. You score a knockdown, you have momentum. There he goes with the right hand again. Sweet Pete with a sweet left. Unable to connect by Roberto Duran. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Roberto Duran's got that one gift that we have seen win time and time again, and that is pure speed. He's got it every which way. Yeah, he's put those punches together. There's one way that you have to combat speed. And that's not trying to match it. And that's control distance and using timing. That's what his opponent needs to do now. Good work on the combination by Roberto Duran. Fires right. Oh, that uppercut got him. Did you see that? Arnell Whitaker's unable to withstand that combination. That's what happens when you cover a little slow. <sighs> a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown but he still has to impress and move forward here yeah i applaud him i give him credit but i also recognize that he's in good shape that's one of the reasons he got up reaching the halfway mark of this round how about a return to sender with the left hand Strike after catching one by Roberto Duran. Come on, stay away from those. Come on. Not much action as he just ties up. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Come on, let's go. Committing to the head work, you see him go there again. Scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just gonna walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. Roberto Duran's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Roberto Duran. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Not what he was looking for, that's a miss right there by Roberto Duran. Comes right back at him with a left hand. And that's the end of round three. This is turning into a wasted effort here as we reflect on the first three rounds and get a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Yes, he's throwing punches, but nothing's landing clean. He's down on your scorecard, three zip. He's wide open every time he throws, and he's getting caught counting, especially that right hand, right up the middle. Roberto Durant's just a completely different fighter now. I mean, he was stunned earlier in this fight, and since then, there's just more of a defensive disposition to him. Yeah, and the important thing right now is that sooner or later, and I think it's going to be sooner, his opponent's going to see the same thing, and he's not going to stay away. He's going to get more aggressive. What an excellent two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Takes one, but gives one. Good work.
by Roberto Durant. Jump on. Jarnell Whitaker with a big uppercut. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. Two, no man's land. Three. Four. Durant's gonna keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Keeping him honest with a double jab up top. Keep moving. Keep moving. Not able to land the headshot. Halfway through round number four. He gets off with a combination up top. Roberto Duran's opponent has to be thinking to himself, how can I get this guy off of him? How can he, Teddy? Well, the one thing he can do is don't wait until he's on you. <laughs> it's too late then. As he's coming forward, sidestep him a little bit before it's too late and catch him. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Roberto Duran. Again to the melon. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Jump on him, jump on him right now. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Roberto Duran's punch is far off the target. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Roberto Duran's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Whitaker's back in his corner after that last round comes to an end. A round that I think he won, and we haven't said that about previous rounds, but that one clearly I think he won. Yeah, he made some adjustments. You know, his attitude is a little bit better. He's more aggressive. But, you know, you can be more aggressive and you can lose the rounds even bigger because now you're walking into more punches. He's making adjustments. He's starting to move his head a little bit. He's starting to pick up certain opportunities from counters. He's starting to look like a smarter fighter now. He's tired. He's well, I don't know tired. if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. Good, solid right hand. Oh! Can he beat the couch? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. Durant's showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Keep Keep Good counter punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym, and you love when you see it executed. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Now Whitaker's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Double jab right to the face. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Roberto Duran. Whitaker's opponent is having a field today, Teddy. That left hand lands again. Well, he keeps moving the wrong direction. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the... What a big shot. Throw the scorecards out. Duran's down and looks to be out. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. 
Mark. Nine, get on your ten. feet. It's over. The fight is over. Arnell Whitaker's hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, Sweet The beauty of this game, it doesn't matter how much you're losing by, you can always pull it out. Such is the case, Teddy. He was down on your scorecard. He's a knockout winner. Yeah, it doesn't matter really what's going on in front of you. It matters what's going on inside of you. He never gave up on himself, as you just said, and this is the result. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.